I'm Tracy. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to say a few words. Um, history tells us that Singh isn't probably the most fortuitous name to have when it comes to being a Bible defender. <laughs> my involvement in the campaign started in 2010, a few months prior to my trial. Um, I was uh, sued by a holy man from the Punjab, 4,000 miles away, um, and I'd written an article for a, a sort of English newspaper and described him as a, a cult leader. Um, Obviously, you know, being 4,000 miles away and uh, never having stepped foot in Britain, nor reading, writing, or speaking any English, was clearly no obstacle for suing uh, in, in, in Britain, uh, uh, the, the libel uh, capital of the world. Um, so, my case was stayed. Fortunately for me, Mr. Justice Edie ruled that secular courts uh, aren't going to adjudicate matters of religion and religious disputes. Um, but. They're determined. So, you know, His Holiness, as he was called, uh, took me to the <laughs> Court of Appeal, and eventually the case was struck out when he failed to lodge security for costs in 2011. His Holiness's libel tourism passport uh, had expired. <laughs> so, what have I learnt? Um, I've reflected on this, and apart from the fact that I think some people today still think I'm the Glaswegian comedian Hardy Singh Kohli. Um, <laughs> It, it's been an extraordinary journey. I think you've heard from everybody about how wonderful this campaign has been and a, and a grassroots campaign and the difference that it's really made and the difference it will make in the future. However, the battle isn't over. Um, powerful foreigners can still sue British citizens. Poor case management continues. Sometimes it's, it's used as a tactic by lawyers. And the cost burden for ordinary people hasn't really yet been addressed. I think it's really important, we need to look at ways in supporting other ordinary people in the future. I mean, people who have made a stand, you know, people like Vaughan Jones, people like uh, Sarah Hermitage, who successfully defended a case recently when she was sued by a Tanzanian oligarch. I'd like to thank and congratulate everybody in the Live Reform campaign, Index on Censorship, Sense About Science, um, and English Pen, and all of those who've been part of the campaign, so inside the courts and outside of the courts. Um, and I guess in conclusion, I may, I may be a six-figure sum out of pocket um, and uh, a very poor man, um, but I've been enriched, really, by taking a stand against injustice with a little help from all my friends here. Um, so I can confidently say, like, like my namesake Simon, um, I'm proud to be called Singh, um, a, a word that comes from the Sanskrit Sina, which means lion. Thank you. <laughs>